guys, Ohio Gaming here with uh, a new series that I plan on completing this time. Uh, Tales from the Borderlands, Episode One, Zero Sum. It uh, I played this uh, sometime last year, um, and then I can then I didn't complete it. The reason being is I didn't um, I didn't necessarily like this or I thought I didn't and then I was looking through my history and I'm like we have nothing going on this channel right now or on Xbox at least we have nothing going on Twitch we have not a nothing zilch and I didn't really want to start a new series because I know next month is the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 and um, I'm like well can I span this out and uh do it like a periodic like some like days like this where like I know tonight I'm gonna be doing Beyond Two Souls but days like this where I'm not gonna be able to be like oh well you know blah 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 you know we're not gonna have nothing to do on the on Twitch so I said why why not do this again so we're gonna we're gonna complete this game. And hopefully get it done by the time Red Dead Redemption comes out and I can stream it stream it on Twitch. So But I'm gonna keep quiet during the cutscenes like I always do in Tall Tale games. I hope you enjoy. So say if someone asks where we got the money what do you mean well i mean what do we tell people we should have a story i mean i would prefer not to tell them that we stole it from hyperion that would not go over well i just think we need a plan of some sort we just need to create some sort of distraction what how oh hey your flies down uh, uh? <laughs> i don't think that's gonna work so this looks not good. Got ourselves a hero here. What are you looking at? It's Pandora. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I, I guess I'm just now more acutely aware that I have ten million dollars chained to me, is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. Fine, don't be such a wuss. You know, when you say things like that, I sometimes forget you're pretending to be the guy who would say things like that. Yes, is it, wait, what? Okay, look, it's a boring, dusty old town. Nothing more, all right? Sure. Listen, one tap on the arm, and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know how it works, but it's definitely neat. Yeah, stick. Neato. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. You and me, Yvette. I mean, we bring this key back. And they're gonna make us the once and future kings of that place for sure. They'll send in a crew to use the key, and then that's it. Then it's kick back on the moon beach time. There's only room at the top for one. You're joking, right? Don't worry. You'll still be my loyal retainer. <laughs> you are unbelievable. I'm gonna be just a dick in this game. Um. If you hear any yelling, it's just uh, my mom and dad are watching the game, and uh, that's the only time you'll hear yelling. Trackers beep, beep, beeping, so, but I don't just want to let you guys know. It's the world of curiosities, right? Yeah, do you see it? No. Could ask one of them. They seem normal ish. Normal ish enough, anyway. I don't know. We can still just find it. I hate asking for help. We're on a very strict time limit here, Reese. If Vasquez comes down before we're finished, I mean, I, I don't even... I also got copyrighted, uh... Got copyrighted for Beyond Two Souls for the music that I was playing during the stream. Oh. 
Hey, you know, Grease Face. You know, the guy with the weird meat thing. You know where the World of Curiosities is? Because my buddy and I, we gotta be there, like, you know, right now. Say that again. Reese, what are you doing? Yeah, Reese. What are you doing? Repeat what you said. Just so there's no misunderstanding. What? You got a greasy face. Look, get some lotion, get some gel, <laughs> do a wrap or something. I mean, if you want to lash out, you know, blame your jeans, it's not your fault. Oh, look, fella, um, my friend is really, really sorry. He's got some kind of a condition where he says really stupid crap just to see what'll happen. <laughs> You're Hyperion. You wake suckers ruin this town, you know that? Atlas were bastards, but at least they had the good sense to fail. Listen, all we want are directions to the world of curiosities. That's it, okay? We get that, and we're gone. Gone, huh? Hey, little man. What's in the case? Hey, kitty cat. Show us what's in the case. Okay, now, look, before we get all bent... Uh, oh. Is there, like, a convention or something? Oh. <laughs> Bandits. You know what we got here? Reese, do the... We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot! Yvette, prime it! Already? Really? Just... <laughs> Give me the menu. Okay, but don't go bananas. These things ain't cheap. And do you know what we do with warmongers? Do you know what we do? Should we tell them what we do with Hyperion workers? Motorbot deployed. Time to clock in. Listen, boys. You're gonna hand over that case. Are you handing over your heads? Your choice. Look, guys, let's talk about this. Ooh, got quiet all of a sudden. Piece of cake. War does not compute. What is it good for? And ever since Jack died, the loader bots have been getting smarter and smarter. I like to think we all have. Must really have to go. <laughs> that is not good. Come on. Kill the robot thing. <laughs> Take cover, boy. That was cool. Cost so much. Thank you kindly. Wait, 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 wait! wait. Uh, bot. Go get the car. Stop, thieves!
interesting. There you go. Let's get right in his eyeball. Kindly stand still and die. That's all I wanted to know. We could have avoided all of this. Ow. Get your ass gone! Okay, okay, okay. Loader bot, put the car down. Sure thing. Subsystem requires your attention. All right, we'll have to improvise. Time to get funky. That's so cool. I will name my firstborn Loderbot. Oh, you know, pro probably not. But... I... I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I... I never... Brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That... That was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. For some reason. But for those guys, a lot of those guys. Oh, come on. It was a little fun, right? <laughs> you cannot honestly stand there and tell me that it didn't feel kind of great to kick all those guys' asses. <laughs> okay, yeah. It was a little awesome. But I'm sure it was as traumatic as it was fun. We're probably going to need some therapy in the future. You know that, right? We'll be able to afford it. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. Get the hell out of here. I mean, this is only the first episode, so it may take me a while to get used to it, but...
I'm sure I'm sure I'll warm up to it. Alright, you know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. I mean, I didn't like the Batman so series at tomorrow, first, but then I started liking it when I got more into it. Of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh... Anything yet? No. What about you, huh? Are you even looking? Of course I'm looking. I'm formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion. Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Oh, I remember this guy. He was an asshole. Killed by stairs! Oh, Nakayama still had his Hyperion ID drive with him, though. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? Oh, it's locked. Oh, come on, are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Well, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. That was, there was something there, right? How are you? Not great. Are you? Don't do that. <gasps> oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you guys. <laughs> it, it just, it just happened, you know? Things happen, they happen. What? What? What, what is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <clears throat> but, unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. <laughs> I mean, we can do other things. We're looking for a man in August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure. Sure. Why didn't you say so, huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Yeah, we know. Yeah? If you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. It ain't a freaking bug stampede. Some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is 
uh, is Vasquez coming? I'm Vasquez, and there's nobody else coming. What the hell are you doing? What? You're not Vasquez. I know Hugo. I just talked to him a few hours ago. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hugo told us to tell you that we that he was Vasquez <laughs> as a joke, you know, <laughs> because he is so so obviously not him, <laughs> right? So, what's your name? Just so we're on uh, equal footing. You want my name? My name's ten million dollars for all you should care. You're a vault key to me, okay? That's it. Okay, okay. Look. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing, but this is not how I operate, all right? I expected Vasquez, and I got you. Yeah! So let's all get friendly real fast. I mean, I'm trying. Aren't I trying? Huh? Aren't I trying? You're trying. So, let's try again. My name's August. What's yours? Do you want me to guess? You can pout all you want. You're not getting my name. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. Uh-uh, no. I know how this works. We see the merchandise first, then you see the money. Yeah. <sighs> all right, all right. The baby wants its bottle. Fine. see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so, the way I uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look, you said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done. Let's just, uh, wrap this up, all right? We saw it, we like it. What more is there to talk about? Don't worry about it. She, uh, she gets this way. It's no problem. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They... He pretended to be Vasquez, August. As a joke! <laughs> He's been a giant dick this entire time! And why, why wouldn't they show you the money, huh? What's up with that? Sasha? I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? You can't trust a face like that. Hey, Sasha? Sasha, listen to me. I, I'm asking you to please trust me on this one. I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, we are not like those assholes. In fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. I'm sold. Awesome. Let's do this. Well, just wait. Just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird... If you ha have a feeling about things... Uh, the bad feeling is gone, August. She said so herself. We still got a deal here. There's no problem. Let's just... No, I'm... I'm sorry, guys. I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this... I just... I just think we should call it off until I... I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really? No, I made up my mind. August, wait! Priest, this is your department. Do something! August. 
Can't let you leave with that, pal. Oh, no? And what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Looks like he had a change of heart. What a steaming load of skag crap. <laughs> well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! Oh, that sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! <laughs> oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. <laughs> you couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could've. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive-bombing me for the last... Okay, I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is? Oh, this ought to be good. No, oh, go on. I can't wait. The v ah, what's your frickin' problem, man? Shit. Wait, 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 wait. How is that? The most important thing. Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Nothing to be nervous about. There. It looks good. If Orgus's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault Key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. Do you think this will work? If I didn't, we wouldn't be doing it. Hey. You're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. Well, I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Exactly. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but 
It's worth the risk, so it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. So you want me to shoot my way out? Might need a bigger gun. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. I got it. I got ten dollars in my name. Stabbing. Piss off. <laughs> Sorry, girls got to eat. Sorry, no one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIPs only. Private function. There's a Firestone Tavern down the road. If you really need a drink, they'll take care of you. Well, that's good, because I'm a VIP. What? Really? Yep. So if you could just get the door for Wait, me. Wait, one second. I don't know. No offense, but you look pretty regular to me. VIPs are fancy folk. Anyway, I should have a list somewhere. Wait a second. That's you there. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. What's that about, huh? What's them words say? And don't you lie and go... Just let me through and this doesn't have to get messy. <laughs> You're kidding, right? That their gun's only got the one bullet. You've got a knack for numbers. That's right. And what I know is... You're gonna need more bullets than that from me. Hey, Tector. Can you count how many I got? Dang it, Sasha. I was trying to act tough. Why you gotta go and make me look bad? You're gonna look a lot worse with no head. Don't tell no one I let y'all in! Pulling a gun? You couldn't talk your way past that dope? Shut up. August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lydia Strauss. We're old friends. You're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. You contacted me, and we met at Pyro Pete's just after Mercenaries Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August, you provide the key, August and I go make the deal, then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just gonna have to improvise. Did you get all that? I told you. It's a lot, I know. Uh, no. You need to slow down, Sasha. You're talking a mile a minute. 
Uh, you're killing me, Fiona. Okay, you are. <laughs> Tommy, come on. How far do we go back? I've known your family a real long time, Otis. <laughs> That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. Now you say hi to the missus for me, okay? Will do, August. <laughs> Buddy. Doctor! Yeah, boss? Make sure Tommy gets home all right. Thanks again. August? Hey, August. This is... Oh, hey. Sasha tells me you've got something really cool to show me. Damn. It's Lydia, right? Strauss, Sasha's told me a lot about you. She ensures me you can be trusted. It's Livia, actually. Livia Strauss. Livia? Huh. I could have swore... No! No! You are. <laughs> the little bastard had a Molly Wong shield on. Shocked me real good. Sorry about the mess, boss. Won't happen again. Well, that was exciting. On bring us over a couple drinks, then start mopping up that blood. I don't want to have to get the floors redone. Sure thing, babe. Let's get to business. Skip out on his tab? Yeah, something like that. Your business deals always go like that? He said he'd do something, then he didn't. I don't abide dishonest people. Seems legit. Have a seat. So, how long have you been an archaeologist? Fascinating work. Getting out there in the dirt. Long enough to find a vault key. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems like the perfect amount of time. That's interesting. Hey, where'd you say you found this again? Refresh my memory. Sasha mentioned it was one of the Edens. Which one was it exactly? I found it on Eden 6, at a dig site there. Right, Eden 6. Marcus is always talking about that place, says it's really nice. It's nice when you find a vault key there. <laughs> it most certainly is. Thanks, hon. All right. Let's have a look. Of course. anything this expensive before. Well, I'm sold. I'll call Vasquez and get this going. Uh, Vasquez, it's August. Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... Hey, wait, do you have me on speaker? Seriously? No, look, I don't even know what obstinate means, man. But I know is I gotta move this thing right... I know what obstinate means. These Hyperion guys get uncomfortable around people that sound too competent. Expect a nervous, small-time Pandoran fuck, so I give them what they want. No, man, this thing is hot. I, I got an office, so if you want it, you gotta get down here. Nah, we'll, we'll be there soon. That ain't good enough, buddy boy. Can we get more money out of them? It is a vault key. I tried already. 
Ten million is the most they could bring in cash. I'm not one for a paper trail. Can't blame a girl for trying. Look, let me make it crystal clear. I want ten million dollars. That's right. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah? You say hi to your... He hung up. All right. Sasha will hold the key, since it's clear you don't trust me alone with it. And seeing as I just had a guy killed in front of you, I'm not even offended. Bring your gun, babe. Got it. So that's it? She'll let you know when it's done, where to get your money. Let's go. We'll follow in the caravan. in position let us know when they arrive hey August you you got a little something on your face <sighs> come here let me get that for you oh thanks huh? I can't believe you let him touch the key no touch that's what you said <laughs> still is actually because he's definitely not dead all right the place itself We're on. what happened you get stuck in traffic? Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a freaking bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. He's, uh... Is Vasquez coming? There are two guys here, but neither of them are Vasquez. He may have sent some lackeys. Didn't want to get his hands dirty. Oh, damn it. One of them has an echo eye implant. If he scans the key, he'll know it's fake. They're still talking, but there's no way they're not going to scan it. Unless they're complete morons. I have to go in. She needs Hold help. Hold on, wait. I have something you can take with you. There's a small EMP device in the chest over there. Grab it for me while I assemble a detonator. Uh, what? Ah, oh, come on. How do you find anything in here? It's about palm-sized, and has a small circuit board sticking out of it. Is this it? Yes, that's the one. Here. Okay. This will generate a low-level electromagnetic pulse. That should be enough to scramble his system. But you need it close to the key. Sasha, on my signal... You need to get the case over to the vent behind me. How the hell do I do that? I don't know. Figure it out. There's a ventilation shaft in the back that'll give you access. Once you're in, I'll talk you through. Stay in the shadows. The walls are paper thin. Don't be seen. Don't be heard. Go, hurry! I can see him. We don't have long. How do I get inside? There should be an air duct that leads to the room they're in. Find it. That's where you'll take your position. Right. On it. I'm almost in the vent. Good. When you get to the end of the air duct, let me know. The EMP range is weak, so you and Sasha will have to work together to pull this off. Got it. 
Mm. That's what happened. Hi. My deepest apologies, but we're actually... You scared the crap out of me. What? Where are my manners? Come in. Asshole. There's plenty of room. I'm Shade. Pleasure to meet you. I know it's hard to trust, but I'm a people person. What's wrong with you? Oh, my God. So many things. <laughs> Just get out of there. I need to get through. I gotta go. We were having such a nice chat. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? Fiona, are you in place yet? Almost there. So where are we going? Shh. Go away. <gasps> You're looking for that girl, right? With the hair. I know the best spot to peek without getting caught. Let me come with you. It's been a long time since I had any friends. <laughs> Fine. Just stay quiet and make yourself useful. You, you won't regret this. Shut up. Marshall, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They... I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. Okay, I'm here. What's wrong with his Good. face? Sasha is waiting near the end of the vent. Get the like EMP that. onto the case. He's hiding something, August. Listen, whatever you think Fiona, about my face, no. we are not the bad Attach guys. the EMP. All right, it's ready. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Good work, Fiona. Aren't we gonna join your friends? No, we're gonna sit here and play the quiet game. Well, Sasha, if you wait, see him trying to scan right, the key, give playing. us a signal. I mean, Fiona, when you hear the signal, know. activate the what EMP. Got it. Now, I made up my mind. August, wait! Freeze! This is your department! Do something! August. What? Come on, man! Please! Dude, ten million dollars. You make a good point. Hey, Fiona, he's about to scan it. Fi uh. <gasps> What's happening? He dropped the key. He dropped it? What do you mean he dropped it? What the hell? It's fake. Searching for. Tell me where it is. I got no idea what you're talking about, Vault Hunter. Race, the money, get the money. Ooh, looks like our lucky day, boys. Let's rock. Come with you. No, they were definitely not invited. What the hell is going on? Ah! 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 Oh! Just get in here. We need your help. Ah. On my way. Damn.
We'll get that bandaged. Okay now, easy. Easy! Sasha, I'm fine. Thanks, I'm fine. Let's just not have any more surprises today. Oh, come on! Are you really trying to steal our caravan? Now, 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 hold on. It's it's not what it looked. Okay, it is. But I am really sorry, okay? Oh, give us one good reason we shouldn't shoot you and drag your bodies out that door. There's one reason. Hey! <laughs> We're not done here! Fiona, the door! Out of my way! I don't like it when people lie to me, Sasha! You should never, ever lie to me, Sasha! Just drive! Where? Uh, away from here! I think we lost them. So, what do we do with them? Yeah, Fiona. What did you do with them, huh? I mean, other than try to con us out of our money. You weren't even supposed to be there. Well, that didn't stop you, did it? At least the money was real. I had a right to get it. You didn't trust each other. As it turned out, we had good reason not to. I'll give Sasha this much. From the start, she knew not to trust them. Well, I just thought she was being paranoid. Enough. What happened next? Yeah, yeah. Tell the nice man what you did to us next. You know, in our time of need. Tell him what you did then. We tried to throw him out. <laughs> we should just shoot them first. Save the bullet. The fall will definitely kill them. Stop it with the embellishments. What really happened? No, actually, that's exactly how it went down. Yeah, I was trying to kill him. Oh. Okay. Continue. Ah! Wait! You don't want to do this! He's just stalling. This is a waste of time. We are very important to Hyperion. They will avenge us! Bring it on! You'll be sorry! Well, wait! We, we can find the money! What? There's a tracker in the case. Reese can follow it. Let him back in, Sasha. Come on, Reese. This is serious. Hey, we don't have all day here. I had it under control, Vaughn. Of course you did. Even if you get that case of money back, you won't be able to open it. It has a top-of-the-line biometric lock. It's impossible to open without me and my passcodes. Get the case into my hands and I can open it. Hey, you say so. But getting the case is the hard part. All right, Hyperion. Prove it. Find the money. Yeah, no problem. Uh... Oh, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, Vaughn. I know. You want to call more Hyperion after us? Calm down, Sasha. Let's see what they can do. Thank you. And then kill them if they betray us. Breeze, what the hell is going on down there? You were supposed to do the deal, then come right back. People are looking for you now. Don't worry about it. Just send down another loader bot, okay? I don't know if I can. I'm still dealing with the fallout from sending you the last one. Vasquez was already pissed enough about the car. That was before he got the call from this August guy. You two have been blacklisted up here, and it's only gonna get worse the more Vasquez keeps yelling. <laughs> Unbelievable! Can't you do anything? Not without implicating all three of us. I already have security asking me everything I know. Don't worry. We got a plan. We do. I shouldn't be talking to you this long. Don't trace the signal. 
Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure I can come up with something. I've got to go, Reese. You're going to have to fix this one yourself. How are we supposed to get an ID from another employee? We're not allowed to talk to other employees. So, you've got nothing. Out you go. Hang on, hang on! Can't you, I don't know, install someone else's credentials? I think we're the only two Hyperion guys left on the planet. Ugh, I still have Nakayama's ID drive. Creepy Black Ops projects like that have to be higher security clearance than us. Look, just give up the act, Hyperion. You're just trying to stall us and we're not buying it. What? No, with this, I'm gonna be able to take us straight to the money. <coughs> You might want to hang on to something. Wait until you get a load of this. I'm very disappointed in you. Did you think you could follow in my footsteps? You are nothing more than another pitiful little code monkey. All swagger. Uh, I guess Vaughn got the tracker working. Vaughn? Where'd everybody go? Who knows what kind of skeletons that old man's keeping in here. Oh. Uh, what happened? We were still waiting to get a load of that. You know, when you said get a load of this, we assumed you were talking about the drool that pulled around your face when you were unconscious. I tracked the money while you were <coughs> out. Quiet. This place is crawling with bandits. You okay, Reese? You totally whacked your head right after you plugged in. It made this gross sound. Oh, apart from waking up completely alone in a crappy trailer with drool coming out of my mouth, I'm great. Thanks for the concern. What happened back there? No idea. Just blacked out. All your cybernetics still seem to be working, as far as I can tell. So, <sighs> the case is in there. Somewhere. Wow. What is that place? Looks like some kind of... Abandoned Atlas warehouse. Doesn't look abandoned to me. Looks more like every bandit on this side of the planet has shown up. How about it, Mr. Roboto? Do you see any way to get inside? Reese, that's Atlas tech. You should be able to scan. that vault hunter oh, perfect as soon as a vault hunter finds a case with millions of dollars in it it's as good as gone you know how they are 
worse than bandits. Can't we just go in the same way the Vault Hunter did? We're not Vault Hunters, Sasha. Settle it. I got this. Okay. Something wrong? No, it's fine. Ooh, that hatch goes down underneath the building. But it's guarded. Okay, so you found a way in. Now remember to get in and out of there quickly. You've already taken too many risks today. You're not coming along? Somebody needs to stay and protect the getaway car. I'll be waiting for your signal. And feel, Sasha, be prepared. Don't trust anyone. We've got a way in, but how are we going to get down there? Have you forgotten about the bandit parade going by? Oh, <laughs> that's the easy part. First, we find a crappy hiding spot. Then, we make ourselves a new friend. Fiona and Sasha find cover in order to sneak closer. while we casually take our new pal for a stroll. Then we borrow a gun from one of the guards, making sure that his buddy doesn't feel left out. Then we take the secret entrance, which leads us to the briefcase, where we take a moment to celebrate our swift and easy victory. And we're good to go. Everyone got that? Guys? Damn it. We found another way down. After you. My way would have worked. I got this. Okay, just give me a second. Fiona! Fiona! Open up, please! It's pitch black in here. Hey, Vaughn! Open up, buddy. Hello? You were hoping this would happen. You wanted to separate us so you could pick us off! Hyperions! <sighs> I can't believe I trusted someone from Hyperion. We should never have let you come with us. Hey, if we wanted you dead, we would have done it by now. I'm sorry, what was that? No, oh, it's just a, just a saying. Oh, I can murder you whenever I want. That's basically what you're saying, right? Just a, a, a poor choice of words, okay? Walk in front of me. Vaughn, do you copy? Come in, Vaughn. Damn it. Money's on the move, but it's close. We have to hurry. Just shoot them. You have a gun. That's what they're there for, right? You got no problem pointing it at me. You can't take out a couple of guards. Uh, guns make noise. Noise attracts more guards. If we do it quiet, then we won't have all the bang-bang sounds that... All right, all right, all right. I got it. <sighs> Crap. We have to get to that lift. Yep, easy. I'll take the one on the left. You get the one on the right. Oh, do you think you can handle that? 
I know you Hyperion guys don't like getting your hands dirty. Oh, I'm not worried about me. Because I took out a dozen bandits earlier today. Are you sure you can handle it? Um, are you serious? I don't know. You talk a big game, but I haven't seen you in action. You just make sure you don't scuff your nice little shoes, okay, Hyperion boy? <laughs> They're skag skin. They're atrocious. Come on. working <laughs> this is all old atlas tech damn it it's locked oh it needs a password I can hack it. Then do it. <sighs> Just a little bend around here. Get this to line up with... Oh, come on, really? I thought we were past this. Past this? Do you even know what Hyperion means to us on Pandora? The havoc they caused here? The pain? Yes, I get it. We're the worst. So... Can you lay off for a bit? Oh, I guess talking about your evil corporate bosses gets under your skin. Good. It should. Um, what the hell was that? It's one of the power systems starting up. How is it up there, anyway? Where? Up on that base you're all in. What's it called? Helios. Right. Helios. I mean, what's it like being an emotionless cog spinning away, day after day, for the most bloodthirsty, brutal, soul-crushing, love-defying corporation in the whole wide universe? Is it fun? Is it something you like? I'm just curious. Look, when I was ten years old, I started a club with my friends just so I had an excuse to print business cards. All I've ever wanted to do was run a company, and Hyperion's the biggest company there is, so... yeah. Well, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. I'm trying to open up here. Stay closed if the story involves tiny business cards. I, uh... I have to concentrate. Can I help you? Your stun baton. It's the JR-4000. Can I... can I see it? Hold it, I guess I should say. What if I say please? Would that make it easier for you? Because I'm not saying please. No. What? I said no. Who says I can't just take it from you? Look, you asked, and I said no. Anything you're compelled to do after that is on you. Get the lift working. 
And we are in. Password override. System online. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm impressed. I suppose you're not completely useless after all. Aw, oh, shucks. You mean it? Yeah, get the lift moving. I got in, but it didn't give me the right clearances, so I'm gonna need a second. Well, hurry up. Down a hill. Damn it, not now. Sure. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll let you know. Hey! Get away from that! An odd pair. We got Glasses Face and Hadley. You guys really know how to accessorize. What are you two doing here? Oh, hey! Um... <laughs> it's a funny story, actually. What are you doing here is more like it. Okay, uh... You're not really supposed to answer a question with a question. I already know what I'm doing here. Really? And what would that be? Wow, okay. That's... aggressive. Sort of caught me off guard. Uh, oh, don't be shy. I... I prepped the cars for the drivers. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Prepping cars, huh? Sounds pretty interesting. So, you guys drivers or what? Sorry, I realize this is rude, but I really don't like your... Drivers for what? Really? What do you think? The big race. Are you messing with me? I can't tell. Let's start over. If you're not official drivers, well, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to shoot you in the face. Whoa, hey, hey, hey! There's no need for that. It's just a uh, misunderstanding. We're drivers. Really? Huh. You don't look like any drivers I've ever seen. Then I guess you ain't seen enough. Well, that's very presumptuous. This ain't exactly my first race. Then quit acting like it and get our ride. Ah, uh, well, more meat for the grinder. I guess I'll go get your ride. Oh. Hey, I got something that might interest you. And if you're racing, you should look the part. I'm not gonna give them away for free, but uh, if you want to look like a team, pick these up after the last race. The floor was littered with them. Clean most of the blood off. Ah, you've got good taste. Okay, if anyone asks, you didn't get these from me. Now get going. Right is with Sweet. Could have been on a nice 
nice clean space station right now, tabulating columns of beautiful numbers. My mask smells weird. Does your mask smell weird? Yeah. Look, the important thing is that we're inside and away from that... bandits. At least they seem preoccupied. This is bad. This is bad. What have we gotten ourselves into here? Psychos? Motor chariot thingies? Sponsors? I'm taking a shot in the dark here, solely based on what you look like, but I'm guessing you're not really into sports. Blood sport? Now, oh, come on. I'm sure you'd call any game where you skin your knee a blood sport. Race will begin! Uh, what an ass. Guns, guns, more guns. Fiona, what do we do? I'm getting so sick of having guns pointed at me. We need to find Sasha and Reese. I hope they're going to be okay, but I hope that about us even more. I'm sure they're fine, but we need to get to them. We just don't have a plan for how we do that yet. Yeah, that's what's upsetting me. And going to today's Simple. It is simple ish. Calm down, it's in the bag. If we win this race, we get the case. If the deal of a lifetime is really only worth it if your remaining lifetime is more than 24 hours. In my line of work, I have to be good at reading people, seeing their true character. And you, Vaughn, you can do this. I know you can. You really think so? Yeah. See? Now you're having a good time. You just gotta let loose. Rev the engines on your life, Vaughn. Wait, what do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just, you know, enjoy the moment. I could get used to this. Yep. Just don't hurt yourself. Hello! 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 How does a jackass like this become a leader of anything? Whoa, whoa! I think this guy wants to eat my eyeballs. You're just being... Tasty eyeballs! Good for fricassee! Okay, then. Just don't lean in. My stone buggy! No, 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 you've got this all wrong. We didn't do anything. If you let him kill me, you'll never get the money. Oh, yeah, sure I will. Felix can bypass any lock. He'll have your case open faster than this guy can eat your lips. But he can't defuse the bomb sync to my biosignature. Bomb? There's a bomb in the case? Let me go! Stop it! Oh. But he's riding the death train! What the hell is this? What's this? <laughs> Sounds like we're starting early! Dying high on a psycho psycho! <laughs> you Pandorans are all crazy. You do know that, right? Drivers drive! Drivers drive! I feel the need. The need for speed! Let's go get rich. Okay, I'll admit, that looks pretty dangerous. Life come. Life go. No, 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 no. We're okay! And now, Maniacs, Degenerates, and Scars, it's time for what you've been waiting for!
Zero. Actually, uh, the last freak standing still gets the mystery box. But whoever kills that guy gets 20 G's cold hard cash. I'm gonna drum you upside the head, stretch it a bit, and be very strong. That was cool. Okay, we have to get out of here. I'm open to ideas. Oh, that's got to be Yvette. Yes, she can send a loader bot. Oh, Professor Nakayama, you sound different. That's scarce. Then I'll make this fast. I know about the vault key, Chum. Okay? I know. So now we've got this problem. A lot of Hyperion cheddar sisters. Get off the phone, Reese! Look, no one else up here needs to know about this little faux pas, all right? So you bring back the money, and, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll give you your old job back. Before the janitor thing. The respectable job. We'll just have to blame the whole thing on your buddy Fong. Okay? I mean, it is his ID associated with the account trans. I don't think so. Fong's my friend. Oh, that's just, uh, I gotta tell ya, that's just adorable. That just wants to conquer. But I got a feeling you're gonna want to hear what I'm offering first. Hey, look, I admit it, you screwed me. You really do. Cool moves, Reese. Cool moves. Hyperion. Well, what might take it a sling? So, get your cybernetic rear up here with the money and I'll split it with you 50 50. You scratch my nuts, I scratch yours, that kind of thing. Levon takes the ball, and the two are run. We've got girls. Huh. I really thought you'd give them up. Oh, you heard all that? Oh, yeah. No more phone calls, okay? We have to.
Should have ducked again. I didn't know where to hold. Get murdered by bandits. You're standing right in front of me. And you keep taking all the fun out of telling you this stuff. Try again. Felix, what's wrong? I... 
Fiona. old con men are pretty rare looking at him right then i thought i understood him maybe for the first time in my whole life didn't stop me from being pissed off i hope one day you'll understand perhaps you'll even find it in your heart to forgive me felix felix Taking the money. Paul. I'm sorry, Fiona. I really am. I told you to never trust anyone. Any. This is the only way to make you understand. I'll get you for this. I don't doubt that you will. Goodbye, Fiona. Fiona, don't. Ah, uh, you're not going to sh. Only for emergencies. Tell Hyperion they can track their fancy case all they want, but I'm taking the money. Choke on it. Fiona. Always oh, no, no. Okay. Okay. Officially the worst day ever. <laughs> Ow. Uh, how are you not dead? <laughs> Bossa Nova's dead. I don't think he was lying. Gordis is not here. Don't sweat it, babe. That's one less bandit lord we have to worry about. There's plenty of time for sweating later, once you come back to me for your reward. My quest is not done. My reward for you is gonna be long, hard, and powerful. Gordis remains out of reach. It's a rocket launcher. Yes. Innuendo. Sasha, about what happened with Felix. Stop! Okay? I don't want to talk about it right now. Their friend Felix tried to take the money for himself. He was killed in the explosion. 
So we have no money, no vault key, nothing. It's over. I mean, what, what do we even do now? Check the bodies. Take anything valuable. It's not like there's going to be ten million dollars worth Do you have any better ideas? You came to Pandora, now you get to live like we do. Wait for more powerful people to kill each other and then take their stuff. Junk can't be worth that much. That pistol over there is worth at least a hundred bucks. Oh, good. We just need a hundred thousand more of those and we're all set. I'm fine. Totally meant to do that. Uh. Good, because it doesn't look like there's a safe way down to help you. So, figure your way out of there. What's down there? There's a bunch of old Atlas prototype stuff, some tech, there's like a few weapons and... Where? Too dangerous, huh? Calculator. Just give me a math problem. Just give Is me a math problem. Is it worth a lot of money? Sort of. I mean, yeah, you know, it's not ten million dollars worth, but oh man, to the right people, Atlas Tech in mint condition like this is worth a hell of a lot to collectors. Some Hyperion execs buy it just to put it on their trophy shelves and gloat. An unreleased prototype at that. I mean, who knows what this is worth? All right, Sasha. Let's grab what we can and get out of here quickly. Don't tell anyone those bandits will be back. We better do the same, Reese. Would you like to do the honors? It's the last one. It's only right for us both to reveal it. I mean, that's the best part. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you'd say that. All right. Big money. <laughs> me or does that look incredibly valuable yeah and there's two of them so i don't have to stab you yeah, that's a bonus i call the bigger half
What is it? No idea. Well, we got what we came for. So let's go. Hey, Vaughn, can you see if there's a crowbar lying around? We're gonna have to try to pry these apart before we... Is that a map? So she's the brains of the outfit. Is that a map? I, I, I don't know. It's so confusing. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Gordis Project. And it's gonna lead us to a vault. And then I'll probably kill you. So, you lost a vault key. Which was never real. Right. Then you lost the money. Well, technically, we found it. <laughs> but then it blew up. Sure. But at the end of all that, you discovered the Gordis Project, which is all about opening a vault. Right. That's very convenient. Uh, not really. I mean, one way or another, everything on Pandora is leading you to a vault. I'd actually... Uh... Agree with her on that. A rarity, I'm sure. So, what happened next? Uh, well... Thought. I hope you agreed this. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Borderlands. I'm your host, Ohio Gaming. See you next time. Keep gaming. Peace.